Not really sure if I drove the point home hard enough on one of the other videos there, but I do have a question. If a rifle was fired at 130 meters away, how long would it be before you heard the shot? We don't really need to have a look at anything gory here. Um, but what I've done is I've just drawn out a visual representation of what should happen. So as we know, the impact happens within this time frame here. Yeah, whether you want to say it's in the middle here, whether you want to say it's there, it's kind of irrelevant to the point I'm going to make. But if the impact is pink, I copy that down into the green section down here. The shot must be fired and then it must impact and then the sound must arrive. So if we take a bullet at 900 meters per second, this is what it should look like in the audio. The shot will be fired, which you won't hear. The impact will happen, which you will hear. It will be a little, a little dot. Um, and then the boom of the gun or the actual sound of the gun will arrive. How, if it was shot from 130 meters away, is the impact happening? All in that little split second there. I think I timed it at like four or five milliseconds between the impact and time uh, and uh, the impact and the and the gun sound. Now I could be wrong. I don't have the video software to go in too much detail on that. I mean I've got DaVinci Resolve, but I still don't even know how to zoom in on it. Kind of irrelevant though, isn't it? Because it's still you, this is maths. This isn't you know it's the laws of physics. You can't break them. You know if the shot was fired and impacted there, the sound should arrive there from 130 meters away, period. Now, if any snipers out there want to explain that to me, I'd be very grateful because I'm just coming at it from an audio perspective. I don't actually know the answer, um, but I'm just saying it's a physical impossibility for the impact and the sound to arrive all within... 30 milliseconds, was that 21 milliseconds? So, um, yeah, that's my question. Just as a clarification point as well, because I know what people are going to say. Uh, oh, it is, the, it is the boom coming there and all of that. Let me just point out what I'm seeing here as an audio guy. All right. If I zoom in on this, we can see you've got a couple of peaks there that. You just look on the left channel, left, boom, boom. You can see them repeated here, boom, boom. This isn't the, the boom of the gun, so to speak. This is a reflection of the boom off of a wall because it's identical. Yeah? That's the nature of echoes. You know, they're slightly more spaced out, of course, and they're obviously less uh, powerful than the initial trigger, but. If I, del if I just disable that, um, boom, and we listen to this, you can hear that it's a gun. That's a gun firing. That is not a duh. That's not a little dot. That's not a like a, a bullet, like uh, hitting a target. That is a gunshot. Break it down even further. Look at the frequency response. Why are we getting all of this low stuff? That shouldn't be happening um, from uh, the boom. And we can go a little bit further if I just stick in an EQ. Just a basic one will do. And we will take a little look at that. Um, there we go. You can hear it. It's a boom. That is the gunshot. That is a reflection of said gunshot. Perhaps a bit of a short one today, but I mean, it's a valid point. Um, and I would love an answer to that for all the people in the comments um, that seem to know so much more about guns than I do. You know, valued opinion and um, I appreciate it. Cheers.